Hey everyone, long time no see. So I uh, today I have another haul for you guys. I did some shopping recently on shoplately.com, which I've never shopped on that website before. So let me go ahead and get right into that. So first I want to go ahead and let you know that I did um, some shopping on Shop Lately. Yeah, shoplately.com. I'll link their um, website down below. Um, it's a new site that I just discovered as far as purchasing jewelry items um, for very, very, very cheap. Now one of the sellers on the website um, is called Daisy Jim. And she basically has um, jewelry like this, which is this one right here that I got. is a chunky gold chain necklace. Um, very beautiful. And I went ahead and purchased the matching bracelet to go with it. So it looks like that gorgeous jewelry. I love the class. So along with purchasing the bracelet, I mean purchasing the necklace and the bracelet, I came across this cute little silver bracelet, which is just a regular beaded bracelet. And it has these beautiful, um, like I guess I would call it like a mint blue um, angel wings on it. This is so freaking cute. And this was from also Shop Lately. The seller for this jewelry that I got is uh, Vintage Heart. So I got this and um, she was able to include a free gift. And the free gift was this beautiful same beaded um, accent on the back. And this one's actually um, the, I guess the, let's see, this one's a little rhinestone side cross bracelet. So it looks beautiful together. Um, pairing them up together is what I'm going to end up doing. They look absolutely gorgeous. And again, I just ended up purchasing this one and she threw in the other one for free. So I've kind of been hearing that from a lot of people who do review or do hauls from shop lately. They are mentioning that they get a free gift occasionally. So that was really, really nice. Um, of course, the seller was Vintage Heart. That was really nice of them to send that with, uh, with the order because oddly enough, I had this in my basket. At the very end, I was like, I'll just wait to get that next time, and I put it away, and I ended up getting one anyhow, so I was really stoked about that. The last item that I got from Shop Lately was a, a bib type of necklace from Lily Wang, and that's the seller from Shop Lately. I got this beautiful bib type necklace, and it look, it's basically like a choker, and I hope you can see that, but it's so beautiful. Um, the, it's gold accent, so all of the... The jewelry like on the back side it's all gold plated and it has some beautiful rhinestones and rubies placed all around the bib area so this is going to fit more like a choker a choker style so i don't know if you can see it but it would look similar to that this is so freaking cute um and that again came from lily wang and uh, these items i got from target i picked up the little trio edition of pacifica and it came with these three items. It came with the body butter. And this is in the fragrance uh, Blood Orange. And this is a body butter. It came with a perfume roll-on. Same fragrance. And it also came with a color quench. A color quench. Uh, basically it's a moisture lip balm. But it has tint as well. It smells just like the Blood Orange. Which smells phenomenal. I picked up the Sonia Kashuk Cream bronzer and this is in the color <clears throat> uh, rich bronze which I do believe number 42 I do believe this is the darkest shade that she has <clears throat> I want to pick this up because I did I did hear that it's very comparable to the Chanel cream bronzer <clears throat> I came across this little highlighter at HEB they do not sell essence although they just had this one tiny little display of the essence products and this was one of them and I wanted to try this out. Basically, it's the Essence Sunkissed Shimmer Powder. And it looks like this. So you have the gold shimmer. Um, I use this typically as a highlighter. It's really pretty. It's basically like a beautiful light gold shimmer. And I place it usually on top of my cheekbones. Very beautiful. In fact, it smells like coconut, to be honest. And so it smells amazing. It smells just like coconuts. It smells like tanning lotion, like coconut tanning lotion. It smells phenomenal. So I thought that was really, excuse me, I thought that was really cute. That they had so there. a friend of mine told me that Urban Decay's website was having like a, kind of like a fairly decent sized sale recently. And um, she mentioned that they had a couple of the palettes on sale and a couple of their, I would say these are the, <clears throat> 
Deluxe, or these are the graffiti eyeshadows or something like that. They have like graffiti little eyeshadows. Um, they're the deluxe um, eyeshadow size. You get a lot of product, but they're the individual colors. Nonetheless, I went online to check out to see if there was anything that I could not live without, and I came across just two items. Yes, you heard me. That was just two items um, that were on sale, and um, they were very inexpensive. Ah! So the first shadow that I ended up picking up is one called Frigid. And it looks like this. So you can kind of see, and I'll get it out of the box. I'm actually wearing this color um, on my lower lash line. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that or not, but it's a beautiful, deep plum color with like, it's hard to, ex it's hard to explain. But it looks like this. So it looks like, like the little graffiti eyeshadow, single eyeshadows. And the color is so beautiful. And again, this one's called Frigid. So I'll swatch this one for you. So it looks like this. Gorgeous, gorgeous deep plum color. And right next to the cream bronzer, <laughs> and next to the uh, cream bronzer that I applied, you can see how dark that purple color is. Um, again, that was from Urban Decay. So that was the only shadow that I picked up that was a single. That was a single also eyeshadow. Also from the Urban Decay website, I picked up this Urban Decay palette. <clears throat> and it just came with a little sample size of their Primer Potion. Yeah, Primer Potion. This is probably one of their older palettes. And um, it has a beautiful silver beaded mesh going on right here. I actually have a little wristlet that's like this material. I love it. I just love how it feels. But it looks like this from the outside. Inside you have all of these colors right here it gives you let's see fishnet honey ransom graffiti zero piece underground scratch and shag and the reason why i ended up going with this palette in particularly is because they had all of these shadows right here i would say like the top six shadows in singles just like i just showed you and they were like i think four bucks a piece but when I came across this palette for only, I think, 11 or 12 bucks, I was like, oh my god, why would I pass this up? You get all those colors that they sold individually in a palette form. And the pigmentation on these are amazing. I'll swatch Graffiti, Honey, Honey, and Peace. So you can just get an idea of how they show up. So as you can see, very pigmented um, beautiful colors and of course the Urban Decay so you really can't go wrong. All the products that I bought from MAC were just a couple of items. <laughs> I had one in because I had thought I purchased or maybe I did purchase and I lost it. I purchased a pan size um, shadow in nylon and I would have swore I purchased it but I don't know if I lost it or misplaced it or where or what happened to it but I had to go buy me another one. Um, it's the eyeshadow in the color nylon. Everybody's familiar with this color. It's a gorgeous inner corner highlight. When I went to the MAC store, the only color that they had available was um, their blush. and It's called Ripe for Love. And they come in this beautiful brown and purple packaging. The packaging itself is so pretty. It's similar to like the NARS packaging, so it kind of feels that way, but just not as soft. But it's a beautiful bronzy brown color. And this blush is so beautiful. It's I would say it's like a beautiful deep pink coral color. Gorgeous. And that swatch looks like this on my finger. Then next to the shadow in the bronzer, it looks like that. So as you can see, it's a beautiful um, coral deep pink color. Foundation product I picked up recently is the Garnier BB Cream. This is the one for combination oily skin the color that I got is medium deep I really do love this product as far as a BB, BB cream. also picked up two lip liners from Milani one is in the color number 08 and it's called fuchsia and it's basically a beautiful bright cool tone pink and I got that and I also picked up the lip liner in 03 in the color nude and this one I've already used as well. So this one I've been using with the lipstick that I also picked up from Milani. And it's their um, Milani lipsticks. This is in the color Cream Nude. Nude Cream. Sorry. Nude Cream number 26. So yeah, it looks like that. 
and I've been using the two nude colors um, just about every other day at work. The Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquer, and this is in the color Nova. That is such a beautiful pink color. So, so pretty on the lips. I do like these a lot. Um, they're basically, for me, a really good tinted lip gloss. So it gives you a whole bunch of pigmented color on your lips, but you still have the glossiness. It's not really a stain. Definitely not a stain because this did not stain my lips whatsoever. But oh my god, they do not dry my they do not dry up my lips. Um, they stay glossy for a good while unless you're unless you're drinking or eating. Um, but they're amazing. The color payoff is amazing. So those are the ones by Rimmel. The other color I picked up is one called Stellar, and it looks like this. Depending, oh, I can't, okay. I hadn't opened this one yet to try it on, but, oh my god, it's so pretty. So this one right here is called Stellar. This is actually a color that reminds me a whole lot of um, one from Sephora that I picked up not that long ago. The last uh, color that I picked up was Luna. And this is going to be like your peachy nude color. Let me see what this one looks like swatched. These are so pretty. These are absolutely beautiful and they're so pigmented. So this one right here is Luna. So um, I picked up just, I believe, yesterday at HEB. I had uh, stopped in the store, wanted to see if they got any new collections. And L'Oreal came out with this uh, collection that has a whole bunch of lipsticks, new brand new lipsticks, and uh, new leg gloss, lip glosses as well. Now the lipstick I am wearing today, um, they looks like their original old packaging, which is odd, they should have changed it up just for the new line, <laughs> but um, they're still the OG looking style lipsticks, the gold packaging, what have you. Still smell the same. These are always like, they're so scented, it's so weird. But uh, when you put them on your lips, you get that scent every time. It's just kind of like it's just a weird off scent. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just strange. But this is a, a new lipstick that they came out. See, the label says new. This is in the color 175, I Pink, You're Cute, which is so cute. It's like, I pink, you're cute, is what it says. And it looks like this. It's a gorgeous color. Oh, my gosh. And the camera's not going to pick up on how neon this color is, but it's a beautiful like beautiful baby pink neon color it's absolutely beautiful maybe I can swatch it I'll swatch it for you I'll swatch it next to the the lip gloss I had from Rimmel so it looks like this and as you can see it's a whole lot lighter than the color I have on top but it's a beautiful neon color it's so hard to tell from the camera but in person it's really pretty and light and just neon-ish I do have it on my lips today, so it looks like this on my skin color. I also picked up <clears throat> the lip gloss, and this is in the color Florid Pink. And it looks like this. It's a beautiful baby pink milk, I would say milky color out of the entire bunch. This was the more milky color, so it's very pale, and it's going to give you like that beautiful wash of like baby pink on your lip beautiful color. Alright guys, well that completes my haul today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all my hometown support as well. So thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, I will continue to keep pulling, uh, putting videos up. It just, it takes me a while. I started working again. So to find the time here and there, it's really, really tough. I do want to go ahead and do an empties video because I've been collecting a lot of my trash. So I can go ahead and do an empties video for you guys because I watch them. I personally like watching the empties videos because you get a quick review and you also get an idea of what that person uh, thinks about the product as well as is it good enough to repurchase or not to repurchase. So I really think that those videos myself I love watching because they're very informative and they keep me from buying a whole lot of stuff you know, versus being able to buy quality good products that are out there that are very inexpensive. So look out for that. Again, thank you so much for watching. And you, boys and girls, have a good day. Bye.